All right, so we're gonna do a little selfie going to the range today. It's a gorgeous day, thank goodness. Um, early, early 60 degree temperatures. And uh, <laughs> the amount of times that I've really felt like going to a range when it's been 20 below zero outside, it's kind of like, no thanks, I'm not gonna do that. But it does, um, does cut down on the amount of time you spend out there. So this, this particular video is just a little quickie on what do you take, all right? What do you take? When I go to the range, I always start out with my Ruger 2245. It does a bunch of things for me personally, kind of gets my head in the game. Yup, I'm on a range trip. Uh, yup, I want to get some real work done today. It lets me work on um, reminding my body of the fundamentals of and that's the other thing, doing a selfie in the car, damn thing just falls over. Um, the fundamentals, trigger press, grip, sight picture, sight alignment, those kinds of odds and ends that um, I work on every day in dry fire with a cert pistol. Uh, those of you that follow my blog certainly know that that's no secret, I'm a, I'm a uh, cert pistol fan. But in under all of that, you do have to get to the point where you actually send live rounds down range. So again, to put my head in the game, I like to start out with 2245. I use the LE target, the SWAT qualification target, or practice target. It's got uh, three circle or two circles, two squares, two triangles. I'll engage them from five, seven, and ten yards with the Ruger 2245 and work on all the fundamentals. There's no holster draw. It's all from uh, compressed high ready where I'm focusing on all the mechanics. And that kind of gets the work out of the way. Now, I'm part of the reason for this is I've, I've got a purse protection outside the home course coming up. And these folks will be instructors. They'll take that instructor class next month. <coughs> To be real honest, the average shooter has not spent a lot of time working on the draw. And so I'm going to do that today with my carry pistol. My carry, carry pistol is a Glock 19. Carry it at 4 o'clock. And so I'll work on the presentation from the holster with concealment. Now today I'm just wearing a Henley shirt so I don't have a lot of crap to clear out of the way. I did a video in January, I think it was, where I'm under full winter gear, all right? So I've got um, an Under Armour shirt on. I have the, I actually had this Henley shirt on. Uh, I had a, have a fleece zipped inside uh, a Columbia parka. And it's cold and it's bulky and I'm wearing my standard winter outdoor gloves. Today, thankfully, looking down at the temperature on the, uh, the Jeep here, it says it's 58, so there will be none of that. So I'm going to be working on that today, so I'm giving them the full boat as an instructor when they come to see me uh, in a couple weekends. And then finally, um, I brought some gear to do a little range work. If you belong to a range, there's a courtesy you can do. And that is, number one, clean up after yourself, of course. Take your targets down, put your cardboard put your cardboard away. Don't bring crap to the range. Don't bring milk jugs. Don't bring pop cans. For God's sakes, don't bring glass bottles or beer cans or, or uh, beer bottles. Bring your targets, all right? Please, bring your targets or bring steel. That's all right as well. Make sure it's okay with the range if you bring steel. So I'll do a little bit of range work. Um, I'll work on a couple of the target frames that I'm going to use today. And then sometime this week, uh, weather's supposed to be pretty good, I'll schedule myself for an afternoon where I'll just go out to the pistol round, range and I'll do some cleanup. That's part of your duty, I see it, as a shooter. Range, range work, ranges, take a lot of work to keep up. Your responsibility to be part of that process. And of course, in under all of that, to do today safely. I've got a specified number of holes currently, and uh, when I get back at the end of this range trip, I should have the same number of holes. 
Now, like all, all the rain strips, I'll document this when I'm done. I'll, uh, I like to do that throughout. Uh, I have tape. I'll um, shoot a couple drills, take some pictures, paste the tape, shoot a couple more, take some pictures, paste the tape. I like to label each target. I label the firearm I use for each drill. Um, you cannot, as a shooter, advance if you don't check yourself, if you're not honest with yourself. And, um, and honestly, if you're not willing to show other folks what you do, warts and all, come on we're all uh, we're all grown men we're all grown women um, put on your big boy big bo girl panties do the drills post the pictures learn from them and then let other people learn from what you do uh, that's one of the things I like about the shooting community uh, and that's one of the reasons why I have my blog one of the reasons I do these posts that I think we should be able to learn from each other um, anyway, my points of view. So that's it. I'm about to make the final turn to head north out of town to pull into the range. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll stay focused on that. And then we will um, meet back here well, a couple hours, I think, probably is all I'm going to be out there. Uh, I am a, uh, a married guy, and I've got a honeydew list today. And so that, that's part of the day as well. So anyway, this is Bill. Eastern Iowa Firearms Training. Thanks for following along, and we will um, post some pictures to go with this video so you can see how the day went. Thanks much. We'll catch you later.